What is up everyone? This is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to stream from your PS4 without OBS. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is go hover over to the settings tab and find where it says sharing and broadcast. So this specific page or information section will have everything that you need to be able to record your video gameplay as well as stream it on YouTube, Twitch, even Twitter. So I'm going to show you from here like what the first step you need to do is and then take it from there. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to link with other services and connect to the account that you're going to stream. I personally have a YouTube account as you know and I'm I if I do ever stream from my PlayStation 4 it will be through the YouTube section. Uh, obviously if you have a Twitch account you will do it through Twitch and like I said if you want to do it on Twitter you can do it on Twitter as well but I've only ever done uh, YouTube I have actually tested out Twitch as well works in an extremely similar fashion now aside from that and once you have the account set up you're going to go to broadcast setting the other functions are more so for you to be able to uh, record your video game plays but you're going to be doing the broadcast setting section and feature so you're going to go to advanced settings and in here there's a couple of features that may be grayed out and this is due to you not having a camera if you have a playstation camera linked in or another camera and i can make another video on how to do that you will need to like that will stay checked off but obviously you can stream with your camera as well from your playstation 4. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is if you don't have a camera you're going to go to audio sharing settings Within this, you're going to, ch if you're obviously trying to stream with your voice, you're going to do include microphone, <coughs> excuse me, uh, audio in broadcast. Now, what this means is when you're talking, you want them to be able to hear you, and this will be the way they will, or the audience will be able to hear you through this specific feature. So you will have this select. You also want to have share party audio selected as well this is a feature that a lot of people actually forget about and um you do need to be like just cognizant of this so and i will show you another piece that you will need to do to ensure all your parties audio is selected so you're going to do share party audio so this would be something like cod you obviously want your companions or your friends their voice to come in as well you don't want it to sound like you're talking to someone and no one's talking back to you uh, so this is a, a little for a privacy thing that Sony actually enabled uh, to make themselves non-liable just in case of recording other people's voices. Um, the other thing is you can actually put a message to spectator. So I, I always do this at the bottom. You just write, hey, subscribe to the channel. Like, let's just do it right now. Subscribe. I spelled it wrong. I know. Forgive me. Just doing it to show you. As you can see at the bottom, it shows subscribe and you can change the color of it as well. You can make it more popping, similar similar to like what YouTube would like, something like red, and make it show up over there. Now the other thing is you can do comment to speech as well. So you can enable comments to speech. So this is actually something pretty cool. It's up to you if you want to do it. So it says it comments are spoken only when the system language is set to English. Um, so it kind of like would read this comments to you. I'd, so PS4's filter is a little weird. Sometimes curses do not get filtered out. So you, I would say take it off. Um, and then you can actually link a community to your broadcast. So that's actually a very interesting feature that they've added. If you have a community enabled, I would highly recommend you to like link it. And then, you know, especially if it's for that game specifically, definitely share it with your broadcasters or your viewers who are watching. Uh, now I'm going to show you actually like how to start the broadcast and like what needs to be done. So let's say you got all those settings done. And you're about to play Dark Souls and you want to stream this to the world. <laughs> you want to show them the amazing uh, Dark Souls player you are with zero deaths. Um, you're going to click the share button on your PlayStation 4 controller just once. And in here, you get your you, you have the same features where it says the settings, but obviously you already did that outside. And then you're going to do broadcast gameplay. We're going to do everything until the end. And obviously I'm not going to start streaming. And again, over here, it'll tell you if you want to stream to Twitch and YouTube. If I recall, the Twitch Twitter is for YouTube videos only. And you're gonna, well, for me, I'm obviously gonna say YouTube, and this is the feature, where, this is the place where I want you to be cognizant of like what you need to do. If you have a camera, you're gonna make sure and you're gonna check the camera box. So then, uh, if you notice on the top right side, 
or on the <coughs> dark school screen that's showing up, your camera will show there. I don't have one at this moment, and it's obviously not popping up. Uh, you're gonna do include microphone audio in broadcast because you want that to show up as well, and you're gonna do display messages to spectators and spectators comments. So what this one means is if you take this off, you can see the screen change. The comments won't show up on the screen. I personally take it off, and I have a laptop or my phone in front of me, uh, preferably a laptop like a bigger screen, and I see the comments over there. The reason I take it off is sometimes, like I said, YouTube or PlayStation, I don't know, either or, I'm assuming YouTube, it doesn't do a great job at filtering comments. So there's instances when people did like, you know, say bad things or cursed, and it showed up on the screen. So even if it shows up, let's say YouTube itself just didn't filter, you if you delete it on the on your live stream app, like your phone, like the, the direct account, the, the deletion won't happen on the PlayStation 4 screen. It'll still be there. So that's why I personally don't show this. Uh, and it makes the screen smaller, which kind of makes the game play a little harder for me personally. And it's a bit distracting seeing the comments on the side, um, especially the way it shows over here. Um, yeah, <laughs> so you can obviously change the YouTube title to whatever your game you're about to broadcast. Uh, you can talk about this as well. I believe it just copies your channel's description. You can change the quality to whatever you'd like. So it's, it's at 720p. Um, I believe that's because of my monitor setting or it's because I think it's PlayStation 4. You can obviously, um, on my PlayStation 4 Pro, I can do up to 10, 20, 1080p and uh, 60 frames per second, which is what I normally do. Um, privacy is obviously public. You're trying to live stream. And then you can put all your tags over here. Uh, again, you can always Always go back to the YouTube page itself to ensure that you have everything enabled uh, so I always like I said I always start the live stream and then I go to the actual laptop the, uh, my MacBook and over there I update the thumbnail I update everything I just let people know like hey I'm just give me a second you know updating everything and then boom I get into the live streaming itself so that's how you basically live stream uh, and I want to just like I said talk about that one final thing on the party settings so let's say you created a party, and again, it's COD or whatever the game may be. Uh, I'm just going to do create a party just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And you want your friend's audio to be playing in. I might make a separate video to talk about like other ways on how to do this. But just to show you, like once this is done, you're going to go to party settings, and you're going to say allows, allow your voice to be shared. You're going to do this for yourself, and you're going to do tell your friends to do the same exact thing. If they do not do this, their voice will not be shared with you. So in your basically recording if you have obviously elgato's you don't have to worry about it um but if you don't have an elgato or if you don't have like obs or other st streaming s softwares or hardwares i should say like elgato to through obs or through elgato directly you're gonna have to like do this you're gonna have to do this and if not your their voices won't pop up um so yeah guys that was it uh this was the full tutorial on how to basically stream from your playstation 4 and you basically get started man start a youtube channel and start streaming that cod gameplay um but yeah guys if you overall found this video helpful and informative please smash that like button it helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell aside from that mo gaming out peace